Now, conjoint analysis is a technique that's come from um, surveys in business, but it provides a very useful collaboration with the Delphi technique to provide an easy way for participants to register their, um, their ranking, their choices of particular options. And one of the difficulties with putting things into ranked order is that um, you have to sort of look at a whole series and work out which ones are going to be um, more significant than others. And particularly if it's a very large number, say more than 10, it can be quite difficult to think about how all of these different options um, relate to one another in a ranking. The co-joint analysis techniques allows you to present pairs of options to participants. So choosing between one option or another option. And that's much easier for us as humans to get our heads around. We can say, yes, that one I think is going to be more important than this one. And by using um, some statistical techniques, we're able to answer a series of those paired options and it will then determine how they relate to one another and put them into an ordered sequence for us. So normally we have to have around about 100 or so different pairings for 10 or so options. But that doesn't necessarily mean every single participant has to vote 100 times and look at 100 pairs. If you've got 10 participants, and they all look at, um, do 10 voting pairs, that then provides the 100 voting pair um, necessary to rank that list into a, into a rank order list. So it means participants in the surveying process um, don't have to provide as many responses. And the responses that they make by just choosing between two options are much easier for them to do and they can quickly do those in a sequence and it might take them 30 seconds to rank or to do 10 paired options. Whereas if you were to give them a list of 10 options and say put them into a ranked order, that may take some people um, many, many minutes, if not um, potentially hours to think about how they all relate to one another and to put them into a ranked sequence. So it's a much more efficient process. Now, it's not a consensus method in itself, but it's a way of asking survey questions that works very well with our other consensus methods. And it's the approach that we're going to be using with your um, Delphi study. And we'll be using the tool, All Our Ideas, which allows co-joint pair surveying. And by conducting a number of rounds of this surveying, we'll be doing a Delphi study. So we'll discuss this in the tutorial.